I know for a fact there'll be a lot of lads coming to you. Not many people in this country that are actual stockists that actually can pull up and buy and sell watches. Well, you're very fortunate we've got four so leagues going really well at the beginning of this. It's nice that you, what, you've picked two meteorites, haven't you, which is yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. They're just so hard, you're not going to get these white gold meteorite oyster flexes. And yeah. in a year's time, I'm going to be like, why didn't I put it away? First feel of this watch, I have got to be honest, I did actually think it was a fake watch because it does literally weigh next to nothing compared to the other Rolexes. You got it. <laughs> Finally. The Hublot has been sold. Protein and coffee, it's a good start to the morning. It's not bad, Johnny, it's quarter past eight. I'm ready to go, ready to rock and roll. Ready for today, Ron? I am actually, yeah. Yeah. Because? Just want to get into the training ground, don't you? Want to play on the pitch? I've got my boots in my back. Yeah, just in case. You told me not to bring my suitcase, but I, I did bring my boots. So we're off to Newcastle, we're off to see a couple of clients up there. I brought the boys along for a journey. Johnny doesn't put his camera down, so we thought we'd give you some fun and games. So come along for the ride. What's happening? You okay, mate? Yeah, man, what's going on? Yeah, good. I just wanted to ask you about this Hublot, what's going on? He's going to the boutique cars, quarter to 11, and he's going to buy it, I hope. Is he? Is he really? <laughs> yeah, they'll buy this off me. This will be gone this afternoon. I hope so. <laughs> it will. It's sad. All right, keep us posted. Right, I'll keep you posted. See you later. See you later. Bye, brother. He's got a viewing today on the Hublot. The one that me and Kieran have been trying to sell for about six months, so it's always someone's copy cup of tea in it so hopefully he'll uh, he'll buy it and we'll go from there. That's the first one I want you to look at because that one I hope you're happy with. That's a 2022 fully stickered. Yes and it's uh, I just love that watch. Love that watch. Yeah. Every dial's different in it, so it's it's got something unique about it. I, you know, it's nice that what you've picked two meteorites, haven't you? Which is yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. You're never getting bored with them. Just need the white gold oyster flex now, and then I've got the uh, what the meteorite white gold meteorite uh, oyster. Uh, I've got the white gold meteorite oyster flex in stock. If you're interested, at some other point. Do see it? I do. Don't yeah. Me eye, I mean, I do so check They're around. just so hard. You're not going to get these white gold meteorite oyster flexes, and yeah. in a year's time, I'm going to be like, why didn't I put it away? Yeah, yeah that's the second. Meteorite we sold this year. Well, I'm gonna wear it. Like, yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, no, I enjoy it. Listen, that's what they're there I've, for. I've bought it for. Yeah, but it's nice when they're sticky because you just know it that, that you're all the ones to rip them off, which is how it should have been in the yeah. even the ads these days. Make you rip them. Make they take them off no, for know. you. Yeah, I know. customer of ours. He's a great guy up in Newcastle. We did a number of different deals with him in the back end of last year. Actually, throughout the whole year of 2023, requested two watches from us recently. One was a GMT meteorite. He didn't know it was fully stickered, which I think was a big bonus to him. He was quite impressed with that. And also a Patek 5990, which came from a UK dealer, full set, clean, uh, and he was very happy. I'll let you do the honors anyway. So I hope you like it. It's absolutely, it's a brilliant size. Discontinued now, of course. UK watch. Right, so something else this has got, which again, very rare, is the oh, Patek right. tag. They always have it. UK papers. So yeah, right, John, yeah. everyone's winning. Yeah, yeah I'll be winning. Well. I've got two 2022 identical Rolex date justs. Apart from this one's a 36 mil, this one's a 41 mil. 126, 234 reference, 126, 334 reference. Jubilee bracelet, fluted bezel, diamond dial, and mother of pearl dial. Now, depending on the angle that you look at these dials, they'll produce different colors. Mother of pearl is the lining found inside the shell. So it can take up to six weeks and 15 specialists to get this done. Each mother of pearl dial is unique, just like a meteorite dial. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the mother of pearl dial or a meteorite dial? Let me know in the comments. Allowed to use right? because I sometimes come in and 
find them like with like that. Just uh, <laughs> battering them. Stu oh, yeah, is yeah, the no. worst. We do we hide this from Stu on a regular basis. John's all right, but so we're very fortunate. We've got four links, three pins, and one sleeve. <laughs> so it was going really well at the beginning of this. So, but we've managed. We'll be able to put a pin, a sleeve, and a link. I need a favour, a big, big favour. I'm a link short because when I sent the watch up from London, I forgot to include the links. So I called in a favour and thankfully the guys there helped us out. As a lot of watch dealers do from time to time, we all need favours and you can always rely on the good guys to help us out. There's an art to this, isn't there? He's been enjoying that, didn't you, Andrew? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Success. Where to put in one? I'll put two in. Perfect. No, that's perfect. All right, second best watch dealers Thank in you. England. First best, first best. <laughs> North, <laughs> North West, North West, best, best, North East yeah. best, we'll give you that. Yeah. They are the best watch dealer in the North West. They're the best in the North East. Just let you know that, Jack, okay? Well, that was brilliant. Thank you, Jack. Got the links that we needed. Nice lads. They helped us out, as always. We're going to come back in about an hour and try to do some deals with them, but we've got to shoot at the moment. I've got to eat my chicken burger and get to this client quickly, so. Right, take me to the training, please, boss. Okay, Dad. It's uh, we like to call it a mobile office. It's just working on the go. I'll be the chauffeur. Johnny's filming, and uh, Lee's in the back, typing away, doing deals. So we're expecting quite a special delivery in today. Quite an exciting watch, and I think this is it. So I'm just going to open it with you now, so we can see what it is together. I think it is what we think it is. Yeah. So we were expecting in a um, Yachtmaster Titanium, and that's what this is right here. I'm actually quite like that. Ridiculously light though, yeah. I think that'd be quite nice to wear. I get that it might put some people off because you instantly think lighter means a fake watch or a cheaper watch. I think it's quite nice. It's more wearable. It's going to be comfier on your wrist and it looks really good. I like it. I do like it. So yeah, this is how it's coming to us. So I'm going to pass this over to Cara now and she's going to photograph it for everything, take some nice videos and see where it goes from there. We're currently going to Newcastle United's training ground. Why are you, man? Why are you? We are <clears throat> eight minutes away, seven minutes away. We're going to go meet a very special client. Oh, look at that GMC, like, that's sick. Yeah. The big GMC. Oh, yeah. Right, I need to, I'm going to reverse Can you see it, Pat? Oh, man. Why, yeah, man, you can't even park a car. That's if you've seen the size of mine. What a f***ing tiny, man. Can I do a Geordie accent? God, this thing's f***ing massive. Considering one of my good friends lives up there, I should be a bit better at it. I can say, poopa scoopa. That's about it. Why, yeah, man, you, like, can't even park. I f***ing can. Why, yeah, man, of course I can. Is that any good? <laughs> I think you hear us in the car speaking Geordie as best we can. <laughs> Christ almighty, like, you're a bit of a mad bastard, like. I Hello. Know. Why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not late. We're just fashionable. Welcome to Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll get you a tour. I know for a fact there'll be a lot of lads coming to you. Yeah, uh, so let's know. Let's give me some cards as well. Thank you very much, Kieran. Okay, appreciate it. No, no, I'll land them out. It's the start of up for us. We don't have a lot of celebrity clients. We do have a few. And we just try and make the most of it, try and enjoy the ride and see where it takes us. Now this is the Yachtmaster 226676. This watch is 42 millimeters and is made in titanium. On first feel of this watch, I have got to be honest, I did actually think it was a fake watch because it does literally weigh next to nothing compared to the other Rolexes. Now this watch actually weighs 110 grams. We weighed it earlier and that in comparison to what I've got on my wrist here, which is a Batgirl, weighs around 140 to 145 grams. So it is considerably lighter. Now this watch is made of grade five RLX titanium, which is not only light, but is also extremely durable. When this arrived to us, we've obviously had everyone in the office come and have a little feel of the weight and it's really shocked everyone. It's divided opinions. I wanna know in the comments where you're at. What do you think of this watch? Do you like it in titanium? Do you think they should have brought it out in steel? And really, would you like to see any other watches made in titanium? Me personally, I quite like the lightweight feel. It's definitely a daily wearer. I just wish it was a little bit smaller. They're my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Is it in?
Yes! Well done, lad. Is it in? You got it. Well done, lad. I have just sold the Hublot. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Finally, the Hublot has been sold. It just needs the right client. It needs the right person for it. Finally. Someone approached me and I got the deal done. Come in yesterday to the boutique to have a look at it and he really liked it. Stayed with me and Bobby for about maybe like four to five minutes an hour. Going through, just making sure he was happy. It's been going on for a while now. Who could sell it first? And I've done it. So that's why I'm quite excited about this sale. I've sold more expensive watches, but this there was just something about this watch that made it extra special, should we say. I'm very happy at the moment. Ron took her all the way around Hong Kong. Been around the world. <laughs> the client is very happy. We're very happy. He's got a... Lovely watch. Uh, first one to sell it. <laughs> His name is John Cena. Oh, yes. There you go. All done. <laughs> oh, my son. <laughs> I can't do your laugh. I don't know how to do it, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a brilliant blue. Oh, damn it. <laughs>